Here we want to simplify the following expression. We have uh, 7 to the power of 5 all raised to the power of 10 times 7 to the power of 200 all over 7 to the power of negative 2 all raised to the power of 30. So we have a bunch of powers in here, but the same base for each of them. So it won't be too hard to simplify this to a single base 7 and then raise it from there. So let's get rid of these brackets first of all. If we simplify this by knowing that if we have a power raised to a power, then you just multiply those two powers. So that gives us 7 to the power of 5 times 10, still times 7 to the power of 200 all over. Now we have 7 to the power of negative 2 times 30. Great. So let's simplify this a little bit more by multiplying these out. 5 times 10 is 50, so we have 7 to the power of 50. Still we have 7 to the power of 200. And then under here we have 7 to the power of negative 2 times 30. Negative 2 times 30 is negative 60. Now we want to get everything on the same side of the fraction. We want to move this up. When we move a base up with a power, we change the sign of that power. The sign of that power right now is negative. We want to make the sign then positive. So we have 7 to the power of 50 times 700, sorry, 7 to the power of 200 times 7 to the power of positive 60 now. Great. It's about as simple as we can get it, but now we have the same base, three different uh, exponents, three different uh, indices here. We can just add those straight across. This is one of the rules of powers. If you multiply by the same base, add the powers. So we just have uh, 50 plus 200 plus 60. That's 110 plus 200. So 7 to the power of 310. And that's this same thing again, simplified all the way down to that.